Um, that's one of my favorite parts of the film. It's kind of this high noon moment that takes place towards the end of the picture. Um, but I, I play a guy who, uh, uh, who wields a whole lot of power south of the border. He's a, a wealthy landowner who doesn't like people encroaching onto his property. I'll put it that way. Um, you know, some people have characterized him as the bad guy. I don't really see him that way. That's not really my job to like, show up and be the villain. I, I want to, you know, make it a little more complex for you than that. Well, it's inspiring that you're here, and it's inspiring for all the work that you've done. I've, I've grown up watching your work, and you're so inspiring. We want to inspire those. What inspirational messages can you give to someone out there that maybe wants to do what you do or just follow their dreams in general? I mean, truly, for anyone that wants to do this, um, you know, I always like to say we all have a story. You know, it doesn't matter what your socioeconomic background is, what your cultural background is, where you were born, where you were raised, what circumstances you were raised under. It doesn't matter. You have a story that's worth telling because you're a human being. You're part of this larger global family. And so um, we live in a day and age now where not only is there more openness within the industry to tell those stories, um, but if in fact you don't find that kind of more typical interest, you can do it yourself. You know, we have the technology these days to make movies on an iPhone. All you have to do is have a story, and it has to be a good one, where you can write it down uh, and, 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 and put it down for people to enjoy. God bless you. Thank you so much, sir, for all your...